LT Spice does not have a potentiometer. We're about to fix that. We're gonna download two files, paste in some text, restart the, the LT Spice uh, software, and we're good. I'll show you. All right, so I've downloaded, where are you at? I've downloaded the code, which the uh, link below in my GitHub, it's in uh, pot. <laughs> so we're going to go to, first we need to see what folder to find. And LT Spice has kind of helped us. If we push F2, it's F2 on the schematic, um, you'll see uh, all these, uh, these, what are these things? I forget the names of these things. Anyway, C, users, my username, documents, LT Spice. So basically you can just go into uh, your documents, uh, which I don't ever use my documents. I don't really like that system, but it is right over here. And there's your LT Spice folder. So we'll go ahead and go through there just to say we did. And live, that's where we wanna be. Now we're interested in sub and sim. So in my downloaded folder, I'm not gonna teach you how to unzip things. You should have a pot folder where you keep all your pot. So here, pot.asy goes in sim, copy, paste. Pot.sub goes in sub, it's a sub circuit. Good, and we want instructions. And the main reason I want instructions, one, is because it makes this video obsolete, but two, it gives us the param we need. And I'll show you that. This one right here, include pot.sub. I wonder if I need that period, I bet I don't. That could be a, a confusion. Let's take the period off. All right, where are you, LT Spice? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, the parameter by clicking on this A thing. Which we don't want comment, we want Spice directives. And we'll paste that in there, hit okay. All right, we're gonna save this. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna save this file I have so I can show you that it works. So you close LT Spice and restart it. It's gotta reload its models. It's from the 80s, that's what, how you did it then. All right, so file, pot test. We'll push F2 and we should see some pot on this computer. There's some pot. And we toss it there. And let's run our simulation and see if we died. Oh, we're in business. So let's check the voltage on the output of this potentiometer, five volts. Now it's important to know this, we're, we're putting 10 volts in. When wiper is 0 0.5, that means 50%. So times by 100 if you need to. Um, it's a zero to one scale for the wiper. It's easier, I, I could have done percent, I guess. Uh, our total is the uh, impedance. So we have a 100K pot and change it to 100. That doesn't change anything, but if we want the, wi the wiper to be 75%, we'll type in 0 0.75. And run that, we should get 7.5 volts. Let's see if old Maxwell's equations still hold. Hot diggity damn, they do. Now, one thing you need to know, this won't go to zero. Watch this. Uh, if you try to put if a resistor that's zero in LT Spice, it complains. So if I type zero, it won't go to zero. It'll go to almost zero. 10 millivolts, so 0 0.01. Uh, good enough for Australia, how about that? So just keep that in mind. It's very, very tiny, but it's... Um, how we have to, it's a workaround in extreme settings. And same thing at 100%. That makes the other resistor go to zero. We can't do it. So instead we're gonna go to 99, oops, that's supposed to be zero, uh, one. Yeah. So if uh, we're actually gonna be at uh, 0 0.999. So let's just see what that does. And, and as I said, nine, I see three nines there. So don't get freaked out if uh, you're using this as a normal human would and go, wait a minute, why is this off? It, it's, um, whatever, 0.01% or whatever. So uh, keep that in mind. Out.